Because till he got the time for her job. Mm -hmm. Whatever God said that you attain it. And it's going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. But if you sell and give it a, <laughs> give it away, not keeping the faith. I'm going to get the witnesses. I'm going to get y'all to get to the witnesses. <laughs> attain it. Keep Amen. it. Pile it in your heart. Don't let go of it. Ain't that word, like he said, amen. Because I, I think about Lena. I think, how many times I talk about that house to Lena so many times? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm talking that house. I'm still prophesying that husband and that baby. Amen. 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 But it, when she really attained it, when she attained that thing, do what she got. I was just going to say, I got the house like, I know, and I know it was a long, long process, but I was sitting here, sitting right here on Tuesday night Bible study, and the Lord said, you know, go walk around it seven times. And the first I was going to say to, you know, is that really God? But I didn't say that I, I took them with me to walk around the house, and then the Lord blessed. I can't sit right here. See, attain, she attained. You obey what you told. Amen. So when she attained it, she claimed it. She received it. She accepted it. And she attained it. Amen. That's why you're saying, he said, call those things be not though they were. You called it into existence. It's already there. It just got to manifest. Thank God for Michelle do apartment. Yeah. I do. I do. Thank God for it. I'm calling those things be not done. Well, I'm in agreement with her for her new apartment. Amen. It's a season for everything. The time to move is time to move. Amen. 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 Let's go to Romans 12 and verse 12. Rejoicing is hope. So we need to do what? Our attitude needs to be in a good rejoicing. rejoicing. Can't seven it look like. Sunday, so I came in there with my bag, 
and she had the whole table just styrofoam everywhere, like they had a meal going on. <laughs> and I had to come in there and cook. But I came in there and spoke, and I just throw washing dishes. But automatically, my anger came because she said something to me about my, my dad's mother's house. She had 15 kids, I believe, and it was 12 that were women. And I think it's only seven left. But out of the seven, or even before those that passed on, my grandmother's house on college just, it's just not livable. Like everything is caving in. It's just, how, how, how do her children let it get that bad? You know, me as a grown adult now, looking back, like how did you allow that to happen to your mother's house when you took her out of the house? But now my cousin is coming to say to me that they want to start having fundraisers to start working on the roof, but it's like if you work on the roof, what about the wall, hey. the rain, everything, is, it, it's more money involved in it to that. So that made me angry that she said she was going to start sending emails, and I'm like, I don't want to have no part of that, because I mean, what's going to happen when it gets fixed up? It's going to start a problem, like who's going to live there, who's going to live So I'm like, I don't want to have a part of that, but what I'm saying is for is how your anger can just, the little things can just set you off. Yeah. And when I say my anger, like, I got mad, like, mama, you know sister came? I mean, I was already like, flying off at the back. <laughs> 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 she got home. But you just, I mean, it's, it's hard. I understand what you're saying, but it's hard. It's like, yeah, and that, see, that's why he said repent. Repent, and you see that that old Lord, and I still this thing still ain't intact, and I still got a flip on it. So you you were still release it to him. The more you release it to him, then he'll start beginning to control it. See, you start dying out of the flesh, and more he'll come alive. See, it's in releasing. We don't release nothing. We attain it. The more you attain it, it brings death to you. But if you're releasing it. You said, well, Lord, I repent. I cuss that now. <laughs> repent. The more you release it, then that means the Spirit of God can come in and do the work on you. Mm -hmm. Because you are, you admit that I ain't there yet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? find new things to get you mad because you know the same people can't get you mad with the same stuff so you gotta throw some somebody else God is working the anger out of you it just thank you Holy Ghost thank you okay you got an anger problem alright and all the way he can make that anger come out you you know you got it but you don't know how bad it is so he had to send somebody else with a little more anger than what you got. Right. So the part that it makes you do this. Now you might, you did it right here, you do it right here now. So you just mouth it. Mm -hmm. Now your anger will be so full that you get where, where you want to fight. Mm -hmm. So that means he pulling more of it out, out of you. Mm -hmm. So you can see how much you, you ain't, uh, you ain't getting back a tater wow. chip. You sure. ain't. So you, yeah, that's when you release it more to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then, like she said, maybe somebody else. That was ATD. Uh -huh. Your cousin. You then cousin. your cousin. Then, then all of a sudden your hood might come and say something crazy. You go. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know. <laughs> so he's the closest thing to you. Mm -hmm. So he going to be you more than somebody out here. Mm -hmm. So you, that's why it, it really, he's showing you what you really can work with and what he need to work out of you more. Because just like a, a you said, give me, give me a minute, this. Just like, okay, God said, I need a spiritual backbone. All right? So for him to straighten my back up, that means I got to say some things that I, well, I used to just say to you. That you think I'm hurting you, but yet I'm pulling stuff out of you. But yet I ain't going to worry about your feeling. I'm worried about your soul. Amen. Amen. All right? <laughs> see, sometimes she think I'm, see, I can see where the enemy trying to kill her into. And I, and I stay on them. 
Mm -hmm. Then because I see you trying to pull it this way, uh-uh, you ain't going that way. Amen. I see, so I won't talk about you like a puppet mm -hmm. till you going to see what I'm trying to show you. Amen. So, so you be a good witness. witness. Amen. All right? Amen. Yeah. I was just thinking about within the lab with the end of September of a 10 now. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I've been going through some. But, and I mean, Ooh, but I just see, need breath. But I mean, see, I, I've said some things. I mean, mm -hmm. some curses. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I curse but, more than I is. Am I but saying you know like, what? Like, yeah, you know, like, I'm I mean, within why the last you, pass. Why are you saying that what you, how you saying it? Yes, Now, you done impressed that so many years. Amen. So Amen. now you got a volcano in you. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah. all of it coming out of you, mm -hmm. so it making you think, now your your folk looking at you, they you yeah, losing they your mind. Like but you should have been saying these years back. Now you saying it now, and God giving you a a a, a, a way of standing up and speaking right. your rights. But you're speaking in a way in a way that, I mean, that but it is it. That's what you want to say anyway. So it's coming out of you now. Uh -huh. That's just like a rising. Uh -huh. See that that what you've been oppressing for years. Yes. And you see, you meet them where they at. Sure is. You cussing like they cussing. Sure so, is. <laughs> so you know, I'm, 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 I'm so this yeah. stuff is coming out you stuff that you don't oppress for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's coming out of you. And they looking at me real crazy. Yeah, cause they think you had to never break them. <laughs> but, but what I told Ooh. what I tell them, you know, like God, all they know, all my kids know about me is my saved life. Yeah. I mean, when I got married, we were saved. When I had them, we were saved. I went to church, I'm saved. That child took me there. I mean, I, I literally blanked. Yeah. See, and I, I mean, said, girl, you don't know who you mess with. I ain't always been saved. See, and then I had to tell a little of my, because they don't know my unsaved yeah, life. See. And then when I did, you know, screw out a little bit, they was like, yeah. See, that that been in you. Yeah. That been oppressed. Yeah. So all that had to come up uh -huh. out of you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You had your hand up, boy. But well, this oh, is good, Lee. Yes, ma'am. Did you have your? I did, but I forgot what it was. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. It said, "It's a rejoicing hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer." So we got to say what? In prayer. prayer. So prayer is saying you stand in tune with the Spirit of God so he can mm -hmm. catch you mm -hmm. at the moments that you feel like you read this. Yeah. Yes. So I'm on, I'm on the, let's flip over into uh, Hebrew 11. We're going to be selling, I'm, I'll be talking, I said call a witness. Let's, we're going to look at these witnesses here. Okay, we have to get the example to by 8 o'clock. It's a good talk. Amen. Next week we're going to get the rest of it. Okay. I got three witnesses. By faith, verse 7. Let me get it. Okay. By faith, what? Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet. Moved with fear. Now you see. God. By faith. Noah moved by what? Faith. He's a witness. Being one of God. A thing. See that S? Thing not seen. And yet moved with what? Fear. He didn't fear man. He feared God. And look what he did. When he feared God, he did what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house, he, mm -hmm. by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. When Noah did what God told him to do, then God moved on what Noah did, his obedience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the world was condemned because Noah built the ark. Mm -hmm. See, God can't do what he needs to do to you allow him to move. If God tells you to go to the 
liquor store. Mm -hmm. And you don't go in there, whoever doesn't need to come out of there, they still in there because you didn't obey. If you just went in there, that means that person doesn't need to see you and God will do the work and brought them right on. See, Noah, when Noah did what he did, then God did what he did. Mm -hmm. See the witness? Mm -hmm. okay. Calling the witnesses. Okay, let's see what the next. Go on to eight. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out not knowing whether he went. So God told him to leave his kingdom, what he did. He left. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some of us don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. See, I left my kingdom. Mm -hmm. Obey God. Mm -hmm. Now look at verse 9. See the witnesses? By faith. He sojourned in the land of promise. He went where God told him to go. go. Mm -hmm. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Mm -hmm. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Oh. He is the maker. maker. You ain't doing nothing, but just, he is the maker. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God is dealing with you about your business. You, you just pray, and when he start dealing with you, tell you what you need to do, you, if it ain't for something small, do it. Because mm -hmm. you're putting in a position for him to work. It ain't mm -hmm. you going to work it. It's God going to work it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Verse 11. That's where I'm going to get that. Through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. See, he promised Abraham what? A seed. He, Sarah was of the promise. Mm -hmm. Sarah was of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Ishmael was a promise of the flesh. Amen. <laughs> That's a difference. Mm -hmm. God said Sarah was going to have a baby. Sarah had that. <laughs> See the witness? Uh, that's what I'm telling you. You attain what he said. Mm -hmm. If he says something, he going to do it. Amen. Okay. And was delivered of a child when she was past age. She was old. Mm -hmm. Past age. Because she judged him faithful who had promised. Mm. So she... She kept, kept God's word. Mm -hmm. And he promised her that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He came forth with it. Yeah. So when you are a good witness, mm -hmm. he go come forth with what you tell. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. when, that's what God yeah. tell That's why I ain't a person that said it around my mouth. Yeah, I can, I can, I, and if God didn't tell me to tell you that, yeah. I ain't on my mouth. Everything I, he done told me to tell you. It done come to pass. Amen. 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 I don't believe in all that. Mm -hmm. No, man, no, sir. Mm -hmm. I, I got one more, but we're going to do that next week. The witness of Jesus. Amen. Jesus was a witness. witness. All right. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. Amen. <laughs> Y'all see the condition you got to live and be a Absolutely. good witness. Amen. 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 So on Sunday when you said...
<laughs> and see, and that was an angel and a, a, a during, and, and God honored that. Amen. He wants you to feel that way. Amen. Wow. I'm going to do it tonight, Ush. Praise oh. the Lord. So old <laughs> in the world. All right. All right. Appreciate you. Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, that you have given us ready to be this witness. And God, we, we repent for the opposite of things that we walk in our flesh when you were trying to get us out of our flesh. So, Father, tonight, as we submit our will to your will, that you, oh God, yes, God, we will not let our heart be troubled anymore, but let your will be done. And, oh, God, you're pulling out the worst out of us to give us the best. Yes, and we thank you for the best tonight. Thank and you, we give you praise for we ask you now to bless the offering as thank you see fit for the keeping of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, yeah, get save everyone to leave right here. With the landlord. Put it in right there. Anybody has got anything that want to head to the world? We go get it. So we going back to Luke. We're going to talk about Jesus. Ben, you know, I'm reading Timothy. It's good. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> when you fall in love with the word, you got some good meat. Mm -hmm. I tell you about the very thing I own in my Bible. Amen. <laughs> I got one sitting there with you. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. All right, all right. Have a blessed tomorrow. I got to feed my husband. He won't eat till I get there. Hey, hey, man. He just spoiled it. He spoiled it. Yes, you did. All right. All these things. Hey, hands eating together. Oh, hands eating together. Man, I thought they eat. I think that's cute. Father, we thank you right now about the blood. That you, God, you're changing not. God, as we leave this place, we're not leaving your presence. And we just thank you for you just being God all by yourself. And we give you glory and praise. And keep us until we meet again, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.